Yo, welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet Violet VGC video. I'm your host, Jose Rocks, and today we have another episode of Journey Through VGC. The current format we're in is Regulation E. Y'all ready? Let's get into it. All right, welcome in, everyone. Merry Christmas to you all. I hope that you all are already opening your gifts and everything that you wanted is, is there for you. So I have a treat for you. We have uh, Iron Bundle Team, which is, you know, a Christmas-themed team. And a Christmas themed Pokemon and we want to build a team around it So we did add two ice types to this team to kind of give it the snowy theme I hope that you are getting a little bit of snow on Christmas um, I stay in the south, so we're not getting much snow these days um, It's rare we get it like maybe once every three or four years, but we haven't gotten it yet this year But the basis of this team is um, arm bundle is a really good Pokemon in this format uh, It continues to shine. I think it's gonna be still just as good in the next format it just has, it doesn't have the much usage because people think that, you know, maybe it's not that good or maybe it's not that bulky. But this set, uh, using Iron Bundle as a support mine rather than as something that deals uh, offensive damage is really good in my opinion. So, of course, we have Encore, Icy Wind, and Freeze Dry. This isn't any different from anything that you may have seen on the format, but it continues to excel even at the end of the format. Encore is really good against locking Pokemon into moves that they don't want to use or locking them into a protect if they kind of play a little bit passive in front of Iron Bundle. And Iron Bundle with Ogre Pond and Landorus and Heatran kind of causes your opponent to play a little bit passive and want to protect in front of Bundle because of the threat of what you can do, what you might tear into or what you might lock into. And you can kind of punish that when you're going for the, um, the Encores. Icy Wind is really good speed control. It allows everything on this team to, you know, start to outspeed a lot of things in the format. And freeze dry, of course, is just really good into like bulky water types that otherwise resist like the blizzards and um, the heat waves coming out from Nine Tails and Heat Train, respectively. Uh, Ghost Terra, so you can get around Fake Out. Um, getting around like Fake Out from like a Sableye or Iron Hands and then encoring them into Fake Out is always really good because then you force the switch. And if you have like something next to Iron Bundle that deals damage, you can just double into that slot because you know that your opponent is forced to switch that slot. Um, the next set we have is going to be Best Calibur. It's going to be an Ice Body set with Clear Amulet. So this set is different from the uh, Thermal Exchange ability plus like maybe a Loaded Dice that you usually see. We wanted to do what we can to get the max out of our uh, Gravine Rush and be able to pick up one hit KOs across the board. And with the Snow Up plus Aurora Veil, then you're able to be really tanky, right, when you get those Swords Dance up. The High Horsepower is to give you a good matchup with the Heatran because as you see with these core, without Iron Bundle having... Um, Hydro Pump, if Heatran comes out, then it's, you know, it's almost completely walled by, um, it's, it walls Best Calibur, Nine Tails, and Iron Bundle uh, with their regular stabs if Iron Bundle does not have Hydro Pump. So that's the idea behind having high horsepower there. Um, you could exchange that for maybe like uh, Ice Shard just to give you a little bit of priority. Uh, this team, one of the flaws that it has is that it does lack priority. But I do feel like being able to one-hit KO Surprise Heatran is really good for uh, Best Calibur. As well as, you know, pick up a KO on Iron Hands if you get that plus two Sword Stance boost. The Dragon Terror, again, is to get the most out of Glavine Rush. We want to be dealing massive amounts of damage upon that, um, upon the uh, Sword Stance. And Ice Body to get a little bit of health back while the snow is up. Next, we have Nine Tails. Nine Tails is going to be a really interesting set. It's a bulky Nine Tails with Light Clay and Fire Terror. The Fire Terror is to help you get around opposing Steel types. Uh, steel types, you know, deal four times super effective damage to Nine Tails. And being able to resist that with like a Fire Typing is really valuable in this format. It also makes Poison like a neutral hit for you, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Um, we have Baby Doll Eyes, which helps you against like the physical attackers in the format and helps bulk up a little bit more of your team. So once you get in the fire tear off or a good terror off and you go for baby doll eyes, like your opponent is not doing much damage behind the Aurora Veil. And that's, you know, very valuable for uh, Ninetales. And sometimes you can also, when you know Ninetales is going to go down to like maybe a priority move, you can go for like a fadeaway baby doll eyes, drop a physical attack before you get knocked out. Just so Ninetales, you know, is leaving this mark on the field after it uh, leaves the field. Next we have a standard Heatran, which is Fairy Terror with Life Orb. So this Heatran does so much damage. Um, I used it a, you know, a couple of other teams and I saw how powerful it was. So I kind of wanted to slap it on this team. I feel like Heatran is a good fit for like a snow team. Um, even though it's a, a fire type, it does like counter a lot of the uh, things that want to come like steel types, um, 
uh, fighting types that want to hit um, Iron Bundle and Best Caliber for super effective damage. Now you can hit them with the uh, Fairy Terror, things like Urshifu, stuff like that. Stuff that resists and hits them back for super effective damage. Heatran is really good into those. Next we have Arm Bundle. I mean, not Arm Bundle, Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond is also going to be a Follow Me user. So the Follow Me is to protect uh, Heatran of Excalibur or even Arm Bundle, depending on how you get it set up. It's just uh, another support mine that also does damage. This is um, it's fast enough to outspeed um, Chiyu, but bulky enough to uh, take a lot of hits, right? And that's the idea behind that. the way I like to use Ogre Pond. It's like a supportive bulky mine that can deal damage. So it's not just sitting on the field, not doing anything, and just being a follow me bot. It can actually deal damage, especially when it's hitting things for super effective. And that's the idea behind the Iron Bundle. I mean the Ogre Pond. And last but not least, we have Landorus. This Landorus is a really powerful uh, Choice Scarf set. Continues to be good. It's been good since um, Sword and Shield. And it continues to be good all the way through Scarlet and Violet since it's been introduced. And I just feel like, honestly, it's the best set for Landorus. You could run Landorus a multitude of different ways with, like, Assault Vest or a clear amulet or with source dance or you can do like ability shield with wheezing but choice scarf is just always going to be consistent those fast terra blasts when you get landers into a good spot to where it can like close out a game or you know those in-game rock slides where you have a out with getting a flinch they're just so valuable and it can't be understated how good it is and our hands continues to be one of the best pokemon in the format and landers is one of the best pokemon into our hands right so that's why it's going to always be pretty good but that's going to be it for a team break now. Again, Merry Christmas to you all. If you like this type of holiday content, go ahead and leave a like for me because I'm going to continue to post uh, holiday-themed teams for every, every holiday. Um, I don't know if we're going to have one for New Year's. Um, I'll see um, since like the new season starts on New Year's, I kind of want to start the New Year off with a new team for Regulation F. So I might not do a holiday-themed team for New Year's. And I don't even know what Pokemon would re really represent New Year's. But if you guys have an idea of a new year's uh thing in pokemon that i could build around uh right before the year ends go ahead and leave a comment for me and let me know but there is a rental code up at the top right as well as a pokey face down in the description below and that's gonna be it let's get into these battles Alrighty, we finally got a match for christmas what do we have here he does have a nice type so his team does have a a Christmas theme. We're gonna be looking out for you know the ice types that are on the opposing team. Um, he has Chimpao Dragonite, which is kind of like odd to see with an Ndidi team with Armorous. And he also has Sneasler and Landorus. So if I had to guess, Sneasler is gonna be really fast. And hit me with like poison. I think I want to. I want to bring nine tails. I kind of want to go Landers, Heatran, nine tails, bundle in the back. I'm locking it in. This team is very hard to use. We have so many, you know, ice types on one team, but I think we should be good. Merry Christmas again, everyone. So this is most likely weak armor plus U-turn. This is tricky turn one. I 
I need. I feel like I need to make a big play turn one. Yeah. I wonder if there's a U-turn because you're going to hit yourself super effectively. But I mean, I did drop this attack. Uh, yep, that's exactly what I thought it was. I probably just lose landings here, right? There's no way I'm faster. I needed to make a big play turn one, I didn't go for it. I wonder if Expanded Forces are too K.O. on the future. if he train is faster right I mean if bundles faster then I got a chance That lander's coming in. What would be coming in this way? Oh, Sneezler. Oh, if I'm faster, holy. Because uh, this is a good play by me. Oh, endure. Okay. Okay, surely he outspeeds me now. Wait, that's not a physical attack, so it shouldn't activate weak on him. Terror and the Ghost. Yeah, the only way I win this because I, I think Sneeze out speeds me, but he could go for like a close combat here. So if I just get the double KO here, I think we just straight up win. I'm faster anyway, so. Terror wasn't even necessary. <laughs> Armor Rouge players with their shenanigans on Christmas. Like, save the tricks for Halloween, not on Christmas. We just want to have good fun, you know, no gimmicks. <laughs> and it's perfect that I KO both because now Heatran didn't take uh, Life or Chip. I think indeed he goes for like a, a trick on here, actually. But I 
think I can just click icy win. I think it's fine. I don't see my opponent winning from this angle. Regardless of what they do. Yeah, I mean, Trick Room is his only option there, but... Because I'm going to be dropping your speed. Oh, we do miss. Oh, we miss Landers. Oh, no. Perfect. Oh, he has Earthquake, so you knock out your own indeed. Interesting. He didn't knock out indeed. But now nine times just comes in and cleans up. So we we almost got cheesed, but Arm Bundle being so speedy just was too much for my opponent. Yep, battles canceled. Let's go. <laughs> I can't believe we got that win. Merry Christmas. Bundle delivers the Santa Claus sleigh on Christmas. I think it's fitting because Bundle actually was able to clutch up that game. And it did it on Christmas, which is, you know, this Pokemon is pretty much uh, built on, like, carrying around a Christmas sack. So it's, it is definitely a Christmas Pokemon. All right. Let's, let's get into the next one. We got another match fast this time. All right, so this is a very powerful archetype. Um, Frigograph, Urshifu, Tornadus, Chiyu, Roaring Moon, and Regieleki. So this team is really fast and wants to hit really hard. And if you try to set up Trick Room, then he has Frigograph to help with that. So what core keeps me from getting swept? I think bundle. Bundle Ogre Pond. Landers. I also think Heatran is okay here. I don't want to bring Nine Tails because I know he's just going to get rid of my weather. And I don't think Bax can keep can keep the pace with this team. scary here I think we could just tear in a ghost I see when Ivy called you a lucky yeah, my opponent's team is so freaking fast <laughs> and we don't have any surprise trick room so my only hope is to keep Bundle around on the field. All right, so there's Tailwind, so now he's super speedy. So we need to just stall out Tailwind. Oh, that was a good play. Ah, we do miss Icy Wind. Missing I see when it's not good there.
We stall out Tailwind though. But I gotta KO this Tornadus. The thing is, like, I needed the Icy Wind to hit. Ghost? Okay, now my heat waves are really strong. Hopefully he just killed Heat Wave here. Okay. Now my Heat Wave. Yeah, I'm gonna pretty much one shot his Tornadus. Hopefully we can start out Tailwind here. I think Scarf Lando is good in the end game. I just IV cudgel her just in wood hammer just in case you're uh sash. Oh Chiyu might be locked in the heat wave. Is this a double KO? We double connect. Ooh! <laughs> That's a hot heat trend. We burning things down on Christmas Day. Y'all ever seen the sun uh, sunny on Christmas? <laughs> well, I live in the South, so we see that often, actually. All right. And now we just protect to start the last turn of Tailwind. Oh, yeah, it's running more. I think I can switch in uh, Landers here. He's a speed. So he's gonna outspeed us anyway. So I'm switching in landers here. No, I think I should just attack. So we can't really do anything with Bundle there. I really didn't want to switch in um, Landers into a knockoff. Alright. Her power is doing a good amount of damage. He already uses Terra to you, right? We can just click E-turn here. I think he should go after Heatra in this turn. Oh, he just cancels. Let's go. Whew. That was a doozy. My, my opponent's team is very offensive. But with his Chiyu being Choice Specs or Choice Scarf, I mean, he's just locked into Heat Wave, so there's nothing much you can do. I think his best bet was to switch out into Landers there. I mean, switch out into Roaring Moon there so he can reset his attack. But, I mean, it's good for us because we've still always KO Tornadus there. And Tornadus can't really hit Heatran. Heatran was the perfect mod for that game. But let's get into the next one. So we have Cramorant. Wow. I didn't even know that Pokemon was in this game. 
So that's the thing with the gulp missile from Sword and Shield, right? So he has Iron Hands, Frigorath, which is strong core. Uh, Godango, Fluttermane, and Ogre Pond Water. So I don't want to you know, underestimate that Mon because the rest of his team is actually pretty standard to the meta. That's very interesting. I think I still want to go with Bundle. I don't want to lead Nine Tails because I can't get around the fake out, right? So I'll lead Bundle with Heatran. Landers and Overpawn. Yeah, we're gonna leave the snow mode again. I like these four though. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get a, get a game out with Nine Tails and Best Caliber. So I'm actually happy to see that over. I don't want to double protect. I'm happy to see that over uh, the. What's the name? Photograph Iron Hands lead. I am giving him a chance to do a free switch here, but I kind of want to see what he's going to tear into. Oh, he didn't even tear. Okay, that's a good play by my opponent. So he's really going to let me just KO Godango with Heat Wave. Wow. And that has Tell one. I'm just gonna freeze dry this thing and heat wave. My opponent didn't cover it all for like this play turn one. Oh, he's focused at Ash, okay. okay. So this should be a double knockout, but he does have tail one up for two turns. Us, he paralyzes us. <laughs> I could have just went for freeze icy wind plus heat wave turn one, and he would have been so stumped. Alrighty then. So he actually really doesn't need to tell one. But I still want to stall it out because my landers will be faster than over time. Once tell one is over. I really need to get this protect off here. Oh man. Huh. 
<sighs> Alright. Alright, at least we get some chip there. Right, so now I need to use my follow me tech. Hopefully you can one shot this flutter main if it's not bulky. It is a speed boost in nature, so we know it's not focus. Well, of course the focus has on Krim, right? My opponent's team is so unorthodox. <laughs> like, what does he do turn one if I this icy wind heat wave? Like, he gets tail one up, but he just loses Godango immediately. I should have just done it. I think I played a little bit too cautious around him. Oh. Okay, just fairy. As long as we knock out Fluttermane, we pretty much win. Because he shouldn't be able to knock out either with a Gleam. And we're bulkier Ogre Pond, so a Moonblast is not going to kill us. The Follow Me tech is really good. Here. It is Gleam, okay. Alright, no crits, perfect. And we survived that too. Thank you. We really need to pick up this KO. This is Landers, like Terra Blast, Max Attack. Yeah, you're, you're not surviving that. Beautiful. Terra One's gone. Now we just Terra Blast you. And then we just. Follow me again. And that should be game. Yeah, we're not attacking with our other pawn, so. Does that chip us? Is it a contact move? Yeah, Terror Blast is not contact. So he can't really stall us out with that. Yep, let's go. All right, we get another win. These teams are crazy today. Yeah, I think... Uh, I should have just went more aggressive turn one, but we were still able to pull that game back. But let's get into the next one. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. So Halucha and Didi Amaruch, Roy Moon, Weezing, Torko. Cannot bring best caliber against Torko. I mean nine tails against Torko. So he trained in the back and bundle because if he doesn't set a trick on bundle, just outspeeds everything. So I wonder if he knows that Protosynthesis doesn't work with Weezing on the field anymore.
It's a weird lead by my opponent. So much damage. I don't. If it's a knockoff, I don't want him to knock off the bundles boost energy because then he can switch out. Oh, beautiful! I could have brought bundle in here. Trying to you turn out. I think Weezing may go for like a burn here. What would he come in with? I think it's time to get bundled on the field. I don't know if he's going into Halucha or not. I really want an Earth Power, the Roaring Moon slot, though. But. The reason he's not doing much. Okay, is that Halucha coming in? So Bono has a speed boost. So he's not booster energy. Perfect, Kalucha. So he didn't bring an armor reach. It's flying now? I thought he used to be on the ground. We'll protect here, Terra, to get around a close combat heat wave. If you close combat me, then you're just gonna take so much damage from heat wave. It might just one shot you. That's cool to see how Lucha flying now. It used to be on the ground. It's the same thing with screen tails. Sometimes screen tails on the ground, sometimes it's floating. It's a pretty cool animation though. Got that call right, so Heat Wave should double KO here. It's just a psychic in the bundle. That will KO bundle. Right, we double connect. Beautiful. So I see win here. in here for Intimidate. I think Bundle's still faster than Halucha. Oh, it's not. Oh, well, that's not enough to survive. Okay, that was a misplay. I should just click Heat Wave again. I 
I think I just rock slide here. That's a good play too. I think I'm in a winning position because all of his mines are so low and it's just wheezing. Ah, that's not a good miss. That's a very bad miss. Cause he goes for like flying press, and like brave bird. I think I need Landers a scarf for my in game to be cleaner. We do survive that at least. Man, this indeed is doing so much damage. Now how my mons are low. Yeah, I should I should have protected bundle and heat wave. I I was not at risk of getting knocked out with heat drain there. I shouldn't have done um Yeah, I should survive. I gotta just click Heat Wave here and follow me. I should be able to survive. Another Life Orb chip, right? Oh, he has a rock slide. <laughs> oh. So this is a loss here. Wow. I mean, I... Rock slide. I don't think I can flinch out Weeze until I win. But I don't think a stomping tantrum KOs him, so I gotta go for it. Flinches can still win me the game. There's one that psychic on Indeedy was huge though, because if he only has like a sludge a poison type attack, then I had a lot of survivability here. We're a long ways away, but I think two more could do it. Oh, he's just green, so it didn't even matter. <sighs> Why did I switch? I don't. I don't think I ever should have lost to that team. All right, but we're gonna get into one final match. Yeah, I should have just double KO'd those two there. Like, missing the Ndidi, like, I should have just clicked Heat Wave and just knew he was going to close combat that slot. Yeah, let's get into one final match. All right, we have a pretty high-ranked opponent, and he has Gamora. So, Gamora does a lot of work into this team. I think I want to lead Landers.
I think Landers Bundle is cool. Ogre Prime in the back. Max loses really hard to flutter, but it does have high horsepower. Let's try Bax. It's Christmas. And let's give try to get a win with the Ice Mouse. I think that uh Heat Tran might be more optimal, but I can get a Swords Dance up, like I've thrown a lot of damage. So I want an Icy Wind and how much power this slot. He trying to make protect turn one just to scout for what I got. I could also have double protected and not reveal how horsepower so early. So it's a good thing I didn't tear up that because we would have lost it to Terra Blast. If he goes for anything other than Terra Blast here, I think I'm in a decent spot. survives there. He's not life for it. Now I just need to get things in range of my landers. I don't even think a double KO is bad here because Landorus looks really good here. Yeah. Oh, he misses Heat Wave. Beautiful. Oh, he did it. The animation is just slower. So Lander should be prone here. Yeah. I don't know what happened to KOs. I I think I want to go for it, because if I can pick up a KO on Heatran, in case he protects something here, I think that'll be really good. I didn't protect, perfect. I'm glad I didn't double that slot.
it does survive with a little bit. Is it just heat wave? Alright, can we survive on both? Alright, we do. Alright, Ogre Pond's gonna die to another turn of poison, though. We gotta dodge another heat wave to win. I don't know what the chances of that are. I mean, he should just quit Terra Blast to be honest. With you. Oh, and he missed it. What? We should lose this game every time, but I'll take the win. Why won't you click Terror Blaster? Yeah, he misplayed there. He should have clicked Terror Blast. There's no reason. It's just I, I'm by myself. You know, there's no reason to not click Terror Blaster. Click your 100% accurate moves. That shows you how you can lose a game even though you haven't won. We're supposed to lose that game every time. But that was, this has been a fun couple of the matches, and let's get into a little review with this team. But Merry Christmas to everyone. Hope you enjoyed the battles. Um, I tried to, you know, do a team built off snow, and we got a couple wins with it. So let's get into a little review with this team, and we're going to go ahead and get out of here. All right, so getting into a final review with this team. This team is pretty fun. It's a snow team, so of course it's snow themed, so we're kind of forcing, you know, the ice types. I would never recommend, you know, using three ice types on any type of, like, competitive team that you're trying to take to a tournament. But just for fun, I think it was pretty good. Um, we didn't get to use, like, the Dragon Terror at Best Calibre in this episode. Um, but I'll play a couple more games with this team. Um, if I end up liking it a little more, maybe I'll record a little bit more with it. But I haven't decided yet. I might just leave it solely just for this Christmas video. Um, en uh, Encore and Booster Energy Bundle with Icy Wind continues to be good. You see that it was able to, you know, win a couple games for us in this video. Um, Nine Tails, I do like the Ghost Terror on it, so you can get around the Fake Out. Um, I think it is a little bit better than Fire. Uh, when I was making this team, I didn't want to double up on the Ghost Typings uh, Terrors, but I think that in order for Nine Tails to work, you really don't want to have Protect on that mod. You want to be able to use all four of its slots, and I think Ghost Terror allows you to do that just a little bit better, right? And we would have been able to, you know, dodge some of those drain punches and things like that if we had the Ghost Terror. Life Orb Heatran is a complete beast. It continues to be a really good set. Um, as far as, like, Ogre Pond and Landorus, those are very consistent uh, leads. If you ever feel like you need, like, a core that you need to add to your team, like, let's say you got, like, two or three Mons that you know are good, but you don't know how to flush out your core, you really can just throw Ogre Pond, Landorus, and Heatran onto that team, and you'll have a pretty balanced core. They're, they are very flexible. Um, the Ogre Pond and Heatran alone gives you your Fire, Water, Grass Core. And then, um, of course, you don't have Dragon, but your Heatran gives you your Steel and Fairy Core with this Terra. And it's a very good set. Then you have Landers, which has, like, you know, the Choice Scarf with an Electric Immunity and uh, Earthquake Immunity, the Ground Immunity. So it, they really help balance out your team. They give you a lot of immunities where Heatran's immune to uh, Fire, Ogre Pond's immune to Water. And of course, like I said, Landers is immune to ground and electric. And that's, you know, for any core that has a lot of switchings and wants to be balanced, that's kind of like how you want to, you know, flush out your team with things that can switch into things when you need it to. But that's going to be it for a review with this team. I give this team an 8 out of 10. And like I said, there's a rental code up at the top right, as well as a poker face down in the description below if you want to give this team a try. And I highly recommend it. It's very fun and I think it's very uh, intuitive. It's not that hard to learn. But um, I would say you just have to play around your nine tails a little bit better. And like I said, Ghost Terror might be better on that. But that's going to be it for this video. If you, like, uh, if you like this team, leave a like, subscribe, 
turn on post notifications. Merry Christmas to you all, and I hope you all are having a wonderful day and opening up all your gifts. But that's going to be it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, deuces.